This video is about integration. Integration is the opposite process to differentiation. So let's look at differentiating first, and then we're going to look at what the opposite of that would be. So differentiating, we times by the power, times by the power, and then we take one off the power. Then we minus one from the power. So this is the process for differentiation. So let's differentiate this. So we're going to get dy dx is going to be. So we're going to times by the power. 3 times 2 is 6. And take one off the power. So 3 goes down to 2. We're going to times by the power. 2 9 is 18. We're going to take one off the power. 2 minus 1 is 1. We don't have to write the power of 1. x by itself means x to the power of 1. 5x now. So we've got the power is 1. So 1, 5 is 5. We're going to take one off the power. That's going to go down to x0. And we don't have to write x0 because x0, anything to the power 0, is 1. And 2 here, think of it as 2x0. If you multiply by 0, it's going to disappear. So the 2 is going to completely disappear. And this is our differentiated answer. So the process for differentiation, we times by the power. And then we take one off the power. We're going to do the opposite to integrate. So we're going to do the opposite of minusing one from the power. So we're going to add one to the power. And then the opposite of timesing is dividing. So for integration, we're going to add one to the power. And then we're going to divide by the new power. Okay, so now we're going to integrate this. It says find the integral. This funny symbol means find the integral. So find the integral of this, 6x squared plus 18x plus 5. So that's what we've got here, what we got by differentiating with respect to x. So the process, plus 1 to the power, add 1 to the power. So we're going to add 1 to the power and then divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power. Divided by the new power, we've got 5x0 here. So if I add 1 to the power, it will go to 5x. And then, you see we had a 2 here that disappeared. So whenever you differentiate, if there's just a number, uh, it's going to disappear. So in order to, for integration to undo that, what we do is we write plus c on the end. So it's kind of like a third step for integration. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and plus a C on the end. So that C just represents um, any number that could have been there originally that would have disappeared when you differentiated it. So whenever you integrate, just remember plus C. Uh, we can simplify this. So 6 over 3 is 2. 18 over 2 is 9. And then plus 5x plus C. So that is how we integrate. Now we've got no way of knowing what the C was here. Well, we do know it was 2, but if this was just the question, if that was the whole question, we would have no way of knowing um, what the C was. So we just leave it as plus C unless we're given the information uh, in order to find out what it is. So in this case, just plus C on the end, and that's absolutely fine. So integration, we're going to plus 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and then plus C on the end. Okay, let's have a look at doing some questions. So we're going to follow the process. Add 1 to the power. Divide by the new power. And plus C on the end. So find the integral of this with respect to X. That just means we're integrating X's. So we're going to add 1 to the power. Divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power. So it'll be 1, that goes to 2. Divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power. We don't need to divide by 1 because 5 to the power of 1 is just 5. And plus C on the end. Uh, we can simplify these. 9 divided by 3. Um, can I squeeze the answer in? I'll have to do it over here. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we've got 3x cubed. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Plus 2x squared. Plus 5x. Plus C. That's the answer. So same again, follow the same process. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and put a plus C on the end. So let's add 1 to the power, 
divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by 1 again. We don't have to um, write that. Plus C. Uh, we can simplify 6 over 3, which is 2. 3 over 2, we can leave as 3 over 2. X squared plus 9X plus C. Okay, these ones are a little bit trickier because we've got to um, do some rearranging, some simplifying before we can integrate them. So in this case, we've got 10 over x squared. So we can't um, integrate 10 over x squared, but if we change it to 10x minus 2, so 10 over x squared is the same as 10x minus 2, then we can. So what we're going to do, simplify it first, we've done that, then we're going to follow the same process. So we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and plus C on the end. Now we're going to Simplify this, 7 over 3 is just 7 over 3, 5 over 2 is just 5 over 2, um, 10 divided by minus 1 is just minus 10, a positive divided by a negative is a negative, plus C, and that's our final answer. Okay, same again here, we can't have root X, but we can change it to X half, so 6X squared plus X half plus 3x to the power of minus 2. And again, we're just going to follow the same process. So we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So 2 plus 1 is 3, divide 3. A half plus 1 is 1 and a half, so 3 over 2. And we're going to divide by 3 over 2. And then minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 divide by minus 1, and plus C. Don't forget the plus C. So 6 over 3 is 2, so we've got 2x cubed. So we've got 1x here, 1 divided by 3 over 2. When you divide by a fraction, just flip it and change it to a time. So dividing by 3 over 2 is the same as times in by 2 over 3. So 1 times 2 over 3 is just 2 over 3. x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3x to the power of minus 1, positive divided by negative is a negative, plus c. And that's our answer. Okay, here's another few. Um, pause the video, give them a go. Okay, so integrating, so we're adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power, and plusing c on the end. So we're going to add 1 to the power, so 2 plus 1 is 3, divide by 3, Got x1 here, so that goes to x squared, divide by 2. 10 goes to 10x, and we plus c. 3 over 3 is, well, they cancel, so we've just got x cubed. All right, the side here, x cubed plus 17 over 2x squared, plus 10x, plus c. Okay, the second one, we have to change the... Um, root x to x half before we can integrate it. So we've got 8x squared plus 2x half plus 4x to the power of minus 3. Again, the same process. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and plus a c on the end. So 2 plus 1 is 3, divide by 3. Half plus 1 is 3 over 2. Divide by 3 over 2. Um, minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. And we're going to divide by minus 2. And plus C on the end. So 8 over 3 is 8 over 3. X cubed. We've got 2 divide by 3 over 2. So it's the same as 2 times 2 over 3. So 2 times 2 over 3. 2 times 2 over 3. Think of it as 2 over 1 times 2 over 3 which is 4 over 3. So 4 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 
positive divided by negative is a negative, so negative 2 x cloud minus 2 plus c. Okay, this question is one where we're going to be able to find out what c is. So the question says, given that dy dx is 3x squared plus 5x plus 10, and when x is 2, y is 3, find an expression for y in terms of x. So we need to go from dy dx to y equals. So that's the process of integration. So we're undoing differentiation, and that is integration. So we're going to write y equals, and we're going to follow the process of adding 1 to the power, dividing by the new power. So 2 plus 1 is 3, I'm going to divide by 3. 1 plus 1 is 2, divide by 2. 10 goes to 10x because it's 10x0, x0, uh, 0 plus 1 is 1, and divide by 1 just stays as 10, and plus c on the end. So simplifying, y equals x cubed plus 5 over 2x squared plus 10x plus c. And that would be all we, could, all we could do if they didn't give us these coordinates, but we know when x is 2, y is 3. So we can find out what c is. So if we substitute in x and y here, so 3 equals 2 cubed plus 5 over 2 times 2 squared plus 10 times 2 plus c. So we're going to simplify this. 2 cubed is 8. 5 over 2 times 2 squared, so 2.5 times 4 is 6, plus 20 plus c. So we've got 3 equals, we've got 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 20, that's 34, plus c. Take away 34 from both sides, so we've got minus 31 equals c. So c is a negative 31. And we can rewrite this um, equation, rewrite um, our expression for y in terms of x, our equation of y. So it's um, x cubed plus 5 over 2x squared plus 10x minus 31. So that's our answer. So we integrated it and then we use the coordinates to find out what c is. Okay, so we've got another question here. Uh, we've got different notation though. So f um, dash of x, that this just means dy dx. So it means the same thing. So this is the differentiated function. This is dy dx and we need to find um, f of x, which is the same as y. So we're going to uh, integrate it and then we're going to use the coordinates to find out what c is. So it's the same as before. You can pause the video if you want to give it a go. Or just watch me carry on. So we've got um, f of x. We use this notation. So we're going to add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and don't forget to plus c. So simplifying this, 3 over 3 is 1, so it's just x cubed. 4 over 2 is 2. Uh, 10 over 5 is 2. Positive divided by negatives and negative, so negative 2 x to the power of minus 5 plus c. So this is f of x, and then we're going to use these coordinates, so x and y. So 3 equals 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 to the power of minus 5 plus c. So 1 cubed is 1. Minus 2 times 1 squared is 2. Minus 2 times 1 to the power of minus 5 is minus 2 plus c. So 1 to the power of anything is going to be 1, isn't it? So um, 1 cubed is 1, 1 squared is 1, and 1 to the power of minus 5, they're all 1. So 
what have we got here? We've got 3 equals, we've got 1 minus 2 minus 2, which is minus 3 plus C, so C must be 6. So um, the expression for f of x, f of x is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2x to the power of minus 5 plus 6.